Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math Calculated with Excel Spreadsheets As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com Today's example is to calculate pounds having GPM flow. Today's problem reads a flow waste stream has 8 mg slash L total solids. A treatment tank contains this waste having 20 GPM flow for 124.5902 minutes. Calculate the pounds of total metals contained in this waste stream. So if we start out by recognizing the type of formula or type of problem, which is a poundage problem. And the formula that we can use um, incorporates flow. So we can use the waste stream version of, of the formula. <clears throat> we just have to modify it just a little bit. Um, so, so that's what we're going to use, the waste stream version. And the waste stream version formula and any other poundage calculation formula uses three components. Um, uses gallons of water and concentration. Those are two components and those are variables. They're going to change as the data and the problem changes. And then the third component is the conversion factor, which is fixed. It's We use the same conversion factor, uh, which is the conversion factor from gallons to pounds. So that's the basic structure of the formula. Now, first thing we need to do is figure out what the unit of uh, measurement or expression is for the concentration. In this case, it's mg slash l, which is an acronym for milligrams per liter, which is used interchangeably with ppm, which is an acronym of parts per million. So this concentration is in increments of millions. Therefore, the flow uh, in this formula needs to also be in increments of millions. So that's where the challenge is going to come in, is to get this flow set up so that it's calculated as gallons and then converted to increments of millions. So the easy way to do this is to take and look at the data for the flow, which is in GPM, which is gallons per minutes, and we also have time in minutes. So we can take the GPM times the time, 20 times 124.5902, and that's going to give us total gallons. Uh, in this flowing waste stream. And then we can take those total gallons and we can divide them by a million or 10, 6, uh, exponent 6, um, and that's going to give us these gallons in increments of millions. And that's how we need to insert them into our formula. So the formula total metals, uh, pounds of total metals equals um, uh, flow calculated in uh, to gallons and um, for 124.5902 minutes and then convert it to increments of millions. So it's going to be in million gallons for 124.5902 minutes times the concentration which is 8 times the conversion factor which is 8.34. So let's just go ahead and see how it looks in our Excel spreadsheet down here because I think we have all the information we need. We've got our, our example. We've got the data and the problem. We've got the formula set up. So now let's go open up a blank Excel worksheet. In cell C, type in the answer, the name for the answer, description for the answer, which is pounds of total metals from GPM flow. Um, and in cell A1, that I typed that in C1, uh, that uh, description. In A1, um, take this cell 
and format it as a number with four decimal points uh, and make it center and bold and then go up to the formula bar and type in this formula equal sign open parenthesis 20 multiplication key 124.5902 divided by 10 exponent 6 close parenthesis multiplication key open parenthesis 8 close parenthesis multiplication key open parenthesis 8.34 close parenthesis uh, return or enter key and that's your answer 0 0.1663 uh, pounds of total metals uh, from GPM flow of 20 for 124.5902 minutes with a concentration of 8 uh, milligrams per liter of total solids so I hope this has been useful and helpful if so please subscribe to my YouTube channel I also urge you to uh, participate and interact by commenting or asking additional questions, for example, through my website, environmentalacademy.com. And, um, you know, come back often because I will be uh, publishing uh, these uh, videos at least once weekly. So thanks for now.